guys, it's Carmilla Foron. I'm back with another video. I recently wanted to upgrade my vanity because it's a little homemade vanity, DIY vanity that I had for a while and I it's not as put together. I wanted like a nice sleek all white vanity with some hints of rose gold because I've been really into the rose gold color. So I bought a few rose gold items and I've had those but like my mirror was not white or rose gold it was black so I just didn't like it anymore I wanted all my, my whole vanity to be one color because I don't know I just feel like when my vanity looks put together and nice like my makeup looks the best like I have fun doing my makeup it doesn't feel like a chore kind of thing I pretty much bought some stuff off of Amazon and other websites and I'm just gonna unbox them with you guys so it is gonna be another unboxing video slash vanity makeover so stay tuned if you want to see that and I hope you enjoy this video and if you do give it a like thumbs up and hit the notification bell comment below if you want to see other things or you know just me Tell you where I got some more of the vanity stuff more in detailed person do a review of some of the vanity stuff that I bought I could do that too so if you like this video like subscribe notification bell comment and stay tuned to see the whole thing so I'm gonna start with this Amazon bag um, I opened it already I just wanted to make sure to look inside of it to see if everything was okay with it and all good and it wasn't all good. It's <laughs> so good thing I opened it before. So like this is what it is. It's a palette holder for all my makeup palettes. And it comes in, so this is the broken one. Really annoying and unfortunate, but oh well. So it looks like this. Clear, and then it has little slots that come out with it. So these little slots, you just click it into place right here. So yeah, you just click it into place and your palettes across on it. So yeah, this is the broken one. So I was checking to see if it was all the all right. And literally the first one I pulled out was the broken one. So where the little plastic part for you to put the slots in, both of them broke off. Both, which is ridiculous because if just one broke off, I could still, you know, put it on because, like, it would look like this and I just put one on and it would still stay and whatever. But, like, both broke, so, like, I don't think it's gonna fit there. But it's also okay because it is a palette holder, so I can just skip one of the slots and that way it will just be a bigger, a bigger um, area and you can put more palettes there. So, it's not too bad, it's not the biggest issue in the world. So, if it's okay, um, I did get it off of Amazon if you want to get it. And if you want to get it, I will link all the companies so you can go on down to my descriptions and just check. So it looks like this. So you just keep putting the slots in. So I'm going to do that. And it will be ready. I'm super excited for this, like it's really nice. It looks really cute. Okay, well, but like this is what it looks like when you're done. And you can just slide all your palettes into the gaps. This one's very loose. I don't know why it's like that. Some of them are pretty loose. Some of them are really tight in there and some of them are loose. It's kind of weird. Maybe I'll just change them around, switch them around and see if like that will help. But like as you can see, like you can kind of see them wobbling, some of them. Like this one's tight in there. Like this one's a little tight. This one completely comes off. Let me just touch it. But yeah, right now I like it. It's see-through. It's nice, you can put it on your table and it looks really good, so um, I'm 
pretty happy with this product. Well, the next thing I got, oh, I got these. These took a while to come in. Uh, I wanted to film this video like way earlier and it took forever to come in. These are little rose gold makeup organizers. So this one is this cute little one. Got it off of Amazon as well. Really cute, really pretty. It came in a set of three. So much better to get it in three. Because I was looking online and I found this one by itself, that one by itself, this one by itself, and they were all like the price range of $25 to $30 alone. So I'm pretty sure I got all three of these in the price range of $20 to $35 together. So if you can do that, make sure you do that instead of getting them all separately. I love the rose gold color. It's gonna make my body look really pretty. Um, this one to put like some other little makeup things in there. Really cute. And this big one to help me organize a lot of things. A lot of things that I need to organize, which is gonna be super helpful. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna put in them yet, but. I'm sure I can figure it out. <laughs> oh, this one's a fun one too. I opened this one too just to like, you know, make it faster for the video and to just double check on them. So I got this. This is not really going to be part of my vanity, but it is a makeup bag to hold all my makeup. I've realized that my makeup collection is getting bigger and bigger by the second. It's so bad. I'm so addicted to buying makeup. It's ridiculous. So... <laughs> I have so much makeup that I realize that I usually get out, I go out a lot and I usually I hang out with my friends to go out or either hang out at my friend's house and then go out or Airbnbs and go out, all those kind of things. So it makes it, this is going to make it a lot easier for me to carry all my makeup together, like all the makeup I want to bring instead of like, because I used to have three little bags for separate things, so like one bag for my makeup brushes, one for my smaller makeup, like concealers, lip bees, um, eye curl, eyelash curlers, all that kind of stuff in like one little bag, and then I had one with like my foundation, palettes, all that stuff in one bag, so I have three bags, but now like with this, I can have this one bag and all my makeup together, and I don't have to worry. Like, it is a pretty big bag, but it is super convenient to put all your makeup in there instead of having all the small little bags that I had previously. But yeah, so it's like this, so you can, it has little slots and little empty uh, parts in there. Mm, it's so pretty. And then the best thing about this is that you can actually, I believe, take it all out. So if you don't want to have that, because your palette, you got this because I also like my bigger palettes. I couldn't really bring in like the smaller bags. So like you can just take this out and line up all your palettes and your makeup on there. And then here, there's this little pocket, which I love so much. You can put all your brushes in there. And then there's a zipper here where you can put more makeup and more palettes and all that stuff, which is really cool and really awesome. So I really like this. I'm super excited for it. This I saw they were advertising that you can use it for an organizer as well for drawers, which is super cool. So yeah, I'm probably not going to use this into the bag because like, I don't want it to be like this so it's easier to pack and put all my stuff in there and my palettes and whatever. So this I'm probably going to use to organize in a drawer. Something really fun that I got. Okay. So... <laughs> I am super bad when it's seeing stuff and being impulsive and being like, oh, I need this when I really don't need it at all and I know I don't need it. Ah, <sighs> for this one. I know I really, really, really did not need it. But I still got it because I need it. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is a vanity light box. Oh yeah, so like it has all, like the little letters and symbols and stuff like that. It's a vanity light box, and you just put like little messages on there and stuff. And but I see everyone has them, and I think it was really cute and a good idea, so I like, got one. So I'm probably gonna have like my Instagram name, you know, shameless promo. Yeah. So I'm excited for this. Um, let's open it right now. There are my handy dandy scissors. Two? Is it like one? 
both back up or you have to put it on both ends. Oh, okay, that's awesome. So it comes with two plugs. You can plug it in. So like if one breaks, I guess you have the back up one. That's awesome. I'm super happy about that. It looks like this. I believe you can also put batteries in there. Yes, you can. Here on this side. If I can open it. Uh, okay, well, you get the gist of it. I can't open it. I tried. <laughs> so, yeah. And then here, the light bulb is gonna shine through this part, and then you can put these little letters and all this kind of stuff on there. It's gonna look super cute. I think it's gonna look super adorable. And on the side, it has the switch on and off, and then it has the little hole to input the um, power cord. Okay, so that's cute. I really like that. We're gonna put that over there. Oh, also for the for um my palette organizer, the broken one. Yeah, uh, on Amazon, if ah, if something comes broken and you didn't bring it yourself, you can ask for a refund, and you just have to return it, and they will give you a refund. And you can just buy it again if you want, or whatever I'm sure you can also message the seller and ask for an exchange or a refund or whichsoever me like with this it's not really that big of a deal I really don't want to wait for it to come in again in the mail so I was like okay, that's fine like it's just an extra gap which is okay so you're just standing up your um, palettes in there well this is just for the one that I was super excited for I haven't opened it and it's so bad because it says you do not open it within 24 hours and tell them that something is wrong with it but between that 24 hours you get no help like you can't refund you can't return it you can't ask for a refund you can't complain about the damage so it was really ridiculous of me not opening it I didn't read it the disclaimer until after a week of having it waiting to film this video so if it is broken, uh, I'm just gonna have to cry and um, try again next time. But like this was on sale. I got it from Impressions Vanity, and it was on. If I look at this box, I'm so scared. I'm so scared and terrified. Look at this. I didn't open it. I promise you. I'm terrified. But yeah, so I got it from Impressions Vanity. They are having a sale, so this is pretty cheap. It's a smaller vanity mirror. And I got it for I would say 120, but since it is an American company and I'm Canadian, it came up to shipping prices, also conversion, and all that stuff. That it came down to 170, which is still okay, I guess, for like a little makeup baddie there. But yeah, I'm excited for it. It's cute. It is nice. I am super excited. I just want to open it right now. Like, I don't want to wait because I haven't opened it and I'm scared it might be broken. I'm complaining about it being broken here with the scissors. Oh my god. Okay, I found it. <laughs> We're good. We're safe. I found the scissors. Okay, I'm just gonna. Ow. Oh. I did not mean to shake the screen like that. I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna open this up. I'm so scared, but like, I really hope it is fine and perfect condition and it's not broken. But knowing me with my bad luck and all the bad stuff that happens to me, there is a chance it might actually be broken. I have such bad luck, guys. Like, I'm literally considering having like a the unfortunate events of Kamala's life. Um, series where I just talk about unfortunate things that happened to me because you know my life is a unfortunate mess so if you want that comment below and I will start that series and just tell you all the really like crazy stuff that's happened in my life but I can see it it's really pretty it is rose gold It looks like this. It's wow. Wow. I 
honestly thought it was way bigger than this. <laughs> way bigger than this. <gasps> oh my gosh, I thought it was so much bigger than this. This is tiny. But like, it's okay. It's still cute. Like, my vanity is, my, ta my vanity table is pretty small. So like, okay, so this is what it looks like. It is cute. It is rose gold. It is small. Way smaller than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so I'm a little disappointed. But not that disappointed because my vanity is a smaller table. So like, I do need smaller objects on it. So... Actually, I'm a little disappointed. I wanted it to be bigger. But this should do. It'll do. It's okay. And this is pretty. It's cute. It will go well with my table and everything. It is actually like a metal, like a metal feeling rose gold. That's what I like. Like that's the rose gold I like. I don't like the plastic rose gold. It doesn't really look rose gold when it comes. But like this is rose gold and it's cute and I like it and it's small and it will fit on my vanity. So my vanity won't be as packed because I don't like a packed looking vanity, a packed feeling like I have makeup up. So it's adorable, it is affordable and if you want to get you can move it up and down. So yeah, so this is a person's vanity at the little bottom right here. So this is Precious Vanity right here at the bottom there, and which is uh, very cute. You know, we can work with this. We can work with it. Put this down now. Last but not least, this big box right here. It is from IKEA. I think it's is it's called an Alex drawer. Yeah, an Alex drawer. It is the smaller one that I'm gonna put under my white table, which I will show you guys in a second. So I have to set this up. I'm gonna set it up real quickly and get back to you guys. I'm gonna unbox it off camera and get back to you guys. Okay guys, so I just finished putting together the Alex drawer and this is um, what my very looks like right now. So I'm just gonna be adding the Alex drawer to the table and moving that one those legs on the side over there to the corner so yeah well, i finished setting up the dresser the drawer i mean and this is what it looks like under the table the drawer i had to take off the two legs on the side um and screw them out and then i put the, the drawer uh the alex drawer under it so it just looks like this it's really cute with, it's a nice setup it sits nicely together so I'm really happy about that. And now I just have to put all the stuff that was on there, up there, including some new things like the vanity mirror and the palette organizer and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna start doing that now. And hopefully it all looks great when I'm done and put together. guys thank you for watching if you want me to do any more vanity setup vanity um, decoration videos just comment below and I'll post those for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you a lot with ideas you want for vanity that's pretty much it so thanks for watching see you guys next time